Hello, 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 guys. So, welcome back, friends of my channel, to another exciting video. This time, it is make an art with Vika. That's what this episode's gonna be called. So, I'm actually taking a ceramics class for my last semester. And let me tell you, it's an interesting experience. I finally got the hang of throwing, which is making pieces on the wheel, which is right here, which I'm gonna make. It's actually like midnight right now, but I guess that's when I get most creative. So let me just show you what I started with, guys. These were my initial pieces. Do you see this? Like it's all nice and colorful, but it's holy. <laughs> Um, what else? What else can I show you? We have this lovely piece, also very holy. Ta-da! And last one. So it may look very easy, but it is actually hella difficult. So I thought I would share some tips and tricks on what I learned works for me and maybe it will help you in the future for any of you future ceramic students. Also, I wanna thank you for 500 subscribers. So I will be doing a giveaway. So you have to stay tuned to see how to win a prize. I will also like to introduce my good friend Urbi here. Also a ceramic student, my friend keeps me going. Her work is actually pretty incredible. She got the hang of throwing so quick. Let me show you some of her pieces. So this is her little cubby hole. Look at all these beautiful like pots, pitchers, and then <laughs> come on over to mine. This is actually the first cup I made. I was actually really excited because I made it. And then I'm actually very proud of this tiny little picture and I made it for my mom, so my mom, this is for you. But I'm going to show you how to make some mugs and little hot things. I actually made these yesterday, so huge improvement, as you can see, huge improvement. Here's some of my other work. I have to cover it up because I don't want it to dry because I need to add handles to it so I can make like little mugs. And so I will be giving out three mugs and you have to, um, first one to comment, get some mug and you got it. Um, and you have to be subscribed to my channel. So, yep. So that will be the giveaway and let's get ceramic in. <laughs> so first step first is getting the clay ready. You need to prep it. So, this is my huge bag of clay that I'll be using. It's good for like stoneware, which I will be making. And you will use this thing in the batter to cut a slice. These need to be re-wedged, and re-wedged means like compiling back together so there are no like air bubbles, because you do not want air bubbles when you're making a piece. So I'm gonna use this little slicer, slice the piece. There we go. And when I was starting out, I was using like a pound and a quarter of clay. I realized that that is way too much for my hands. Like my hands are tiny, guys. So I am gonna be using a little bit less, which works a lot better for me. So you do what works for you. Don't do the standard protocol. So I do what works for me. So now, since this is just like sliced from a fresh batch, I don't need to wedge it because it's fresh and already wedged, pre-wedged, so I actually hate wedging, that's why I bought another bag of clay. So you kind of pat it down in a ball, and let me tell you, this gets really tiring really quickly. And also it gets really messy, so you need to wear something underneath. Also, oh, I forgot my towel, so let me get that. <laughs> Yo, I'm back. So, you need coverage, okay? You need coverage um, because it does get dirty. Because you're, oh god, I just got some. 
something in my eye. But <laughs> you need a lot of layers of protection. I'm actually gonna close this shirt up because I don't wanna ruin mine below. Boom, boom, boom. So, ooh, see how messy I already got? Okay, I think I am all set. So first of all, I struggled with this for at least three months. It took lots of trial and error to actually make something functional and not destructive. Um, what I mean by destructive is just like, just crappy pottery. So I actually kind of got the hang of it. I'm gonna try it out tonight again. This is my creative hour. I think I'm almost ready to begin. I have a bucket of some lukewarm water with a sponge and a little knife blade. And this is called the bat that I'm putting everything on. This is what it looks like. This is the bat that it spins on the wheel. And so you kind of make a ball and then you just drop it. You try to drop it in the center. Drop it. Okay. Now we pat it down, kind of just like with the palms. You just pat, pat, pat. And the thing that was so difficult about this was just working with your hands and just trying to like learn like the different kind of like grooves and just like I don't know, like nuances that like go into like your hands, right? So it just took a long time for me to process. It's kind of like playing with the piano. Like your mind is telling you something, but your hands are going the other way. So that was kind of like my deal with um, throwing here. Like my hands wanted to do something, but at the same time they didn't, if that makes sense. So you have to seal the, seal the blob seal your little ball there we go I just sealed it so it's on the bat and I pat it down so it's like extra secure and then this is where you add water I don't know if you see this guys I hope you do do you see it now hello okay cool so you need lots of water oh also very important is to lock in which means like literally pressing your elbows into your gut and kind of just coming up on the wheel making sure your sleeves don't fall in either I like totally wrecked this shirt too because this is this is all this is all my job so add tons of water lock in From here, we're gonna form cones. So we're gonna cone three times up and down. So we like work the clay up, work the clay down, um, just to get rid of air bubbles or anything like that. And then we are gonna do some like perfect centering. And then we're gonna expand, spread the floor, and then start the throwing process. So listen up, and I mean you just have to you just have to practice. And I just splattered clay everywhere so i'm just gonna be a total wreck after this but i hope you enjoy it <laughs> just coned it three times and now I'm going to center it by literally pressing my like my wrist into the clay and then draping my thumbs over looking good looking good so now from here you use your two thumbs to kind of dig in and go straight down So from here, I could spread the floor, which is just expanded to the sides. Really locking in for this part here. Ooh, 
You guys see that? Ta da! It looks like a little beehive. <laughs> um, that was actually really cool. I just don't even know how my fingers are gonna fit in this. Ah! So I'm actually going to go with that because every single time I try to fix things or make it better, I end up screwing it up. So this is the piece I made. As you can see, it is a world different from what I used to make, which example A again, this is glazed already. So um, just imagine it <laughs> without any color. And then this lovely piece. Oh shoot, it's still going. See guys, if you forget to press the pedal back down, the wheel will start spinning, will continue spinning. So I'm actually very pleased with what I made. And as you can see, I have a couple pounds of clay that I need to use by Wednesday because the Wednesday is like our last clay day. So hooray, I'll be making more pieces. See? And it took me how many minutes? Okay, it took me like five minutes to make, right? At the beginning, it used to take me a whole hour just to get that made. Like that little crappy bowl or whatever that is. What you call that. I don't know what you call that. Uh, yeah, so I am making this video because I want to commemorate and celebrate my 500 subscribers on YouTube. And... Uh, make a giveaway and celebrate my mug making accomplishments. So I hope you enjoy that. I'll show you some more pieces I make, but if you're interested in my giveaway, I'll be giving away three mugs I make, three of my pieces. And yeah, so just comment below. First ones to comment, get a mug, you must be subscribed. So thank you for all the support and yeah, we made it. So it's really exciting for me because I put a lot of work and effort into my channel and it helps me kind of stay sane and helps me be like creative because I love making movies. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that. See ya.